Lonnie Payne here with another pinball video. Welcome to part six of the Apollo 13 restoration. I have not been able to get the play field cleared yet. Hopefully I'll get that done shortly, but I wanted to give you the insight of how I work on my graphics, what I do to, to get the graphics into the computer and then edit them. So I'm gonna work on the cabinet and show you an update on the insert uh, decals that we scanned earlier and kind of show you how things go. So if you're ready to go, let's go. Welcome to the jungle. All right, gonna work on scanning the graphics on the cabinet. Originally, I was gonna do decals, but this cabinet's in really nice shape. Uh, just a couple little problems, which I pointed out on the introduction. But I think what I'm gonna try and do, and this may change before this uh, repair series or restoration series is over, but I think I'm gonna do a custom Apollo 13, but I'm gonna save the moon and the earth but I'm going to do some custom letters for the Apollo 13 trying to basically keep the same concept just a little bit different so I'm going to scan this and it's just like scanning the play field the only difference is I don't really have to do it all trying to get it all in one I can't stitch them together but I just need a good scan of each letter and I could work them individually uh, but then I can stitch them together so I can actually make one decal so I'm trying to ex uh, explain that a little bit later but some interesting things about the graphics is when you look at the O it looks like there's some damage on top of that O but the thing is it's on every O it's on the other side. It, you can feel it. It's it's not actually damaged. I don't I don't know what the deal is. If it was a, a graphic problem or or what. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start scanning these. And what I'll do, and this comes a little bit later when it comes to paint, but I'll I'll put a I'll basically graph this whole side so I know exactly how far this A starts from the edge and on the bottom. And so I'll be able to mark all this and put this Apollo 13 exactly where it needs to be. So I'll, I'll show you that graphic too. I'm going to get to scanning this and uh, keep going. All right, got my setup for the scan. The only thing I'll point out is you see the top of the P, there's one of the bolt holes for the, the play field support on the inside. So I probably will flip the cabinet over and get a good scan of the P without that at the top and, and be able to work with that. But I'm gonna start scanning, get the whole Apollo 13 scanned and go. Okay, just like the play field, I'm using an HP ScanJet 4670, which is a see-through scanner. So you can just put it on any object and it'll scan it. it, just has to be flat. Can't find these anymore new. They're several years old, 10 plus years. So you have to find them on eBay, but greatest tool for Scanning cabinets, play fields, been using it for years. So that's the equipment I use. We'll get started. I think I described it in, in one of the intro videos on the, on the cabinet art. When I recreate a cabinet, I use vinyl, which that has hard edges. So something that's a more photograph like this is not something I can recreate with vinyl. So it's either use a cabinet decal or just try and fix what you got. And this is in fairly good shape. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and scan it just so I have a reference. But... I think what I'm going to do is actually just try and fix the, the little areas that, that have damage, but the graphics themselves are actually really nice. So I'm going to try and save the original. And like I said, all this is subject to change based on what I, I find when I'm, I'm fixing it. And we'll, we'll kind of make that decision as we go. But I'm going to go ahead and get a scan of it just so I have a reference. And then I'll see if I can fix it and, and not have to get rid of the original art. All right, here's my uh, super artistic graph on where everything is on the main cabinet. I'll clean this up 
and make it a little bit more presentable, but you can just kind of see all the details. I know exactly where everything is. So if I have to recreate it, I'm ready. Hopefully I won't need to use most of it, but you at least get the idea of what I'm talking about. All right, using my stitching program, here you can see where I've used these four scans and it stitched them together to make the left side of the back box. Now remember, we stopped scanning right below the moon, so the back box actually goes lower than that, but that's all the graphics we have. So that's how that stitching works. Makes a full graphic, and we'll do the same thing on the uh, regular cabinet as well to give us a pattern to work for with those letters that we want to change. Okay, so here's the stitched image for the cabinet. And I don't need the <clears throat> full moon here, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. But what I'll use this for is my template. When I restore each letter, I'll restore them and put them in the exact same spot. So I'll be able to have one cut to put on at one time. Of course, I'll fix all the holes and stuff, but that stuff is hours worth of work. So I just wanted to show you what my process was and now I get to start working on that and then when I get ready to do the cabinet uh, you'll actually get to see the final product but I wanted to kind of let you in on the process so I'll start working on all these letters but I'll go ahead and put this video out so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay just an update on the insert decals I've been working on. Here's one of the scans that has several of the inserts before we cut them out as in, in the previous video. So this is what I'm using to base my graphics on. And just to show you a couple of the things that I, I do, uh, for instance, here's the, the battery. So I take that, cut it out, straighten it up, and then I work on adding everything back in the way it should be. I use a red, just my own, so it, I can tell the difference, but between I you know it's too hard to design if you use black so I use red so you know that was the original and then that layer so I can get rid of the background as well so that's what I'm left with and then I'll use this to cut vinyl as the pattern to cut vinyl I'll transfer that to another program and cut it but that's that's the process and uh, for instance here's the the moon decals and just to kind of give you uh, move this down so you can see a little bit better. So this is the original. So then I worked on the rings and then the uh, the moons. And then just so I could get an idea of what it would look like without the, all the scratched up and damaged inserts, I just made a little white level the same color. So that's what they should kind of look like when I'm done. And then once again, you get rid of the background and we get rid of the white. And that's what I'll actually cut out of black. And so the ones that I've completed so far are the moons, the food, the battery, the, the ring around the countdown, and the mystery. So the only thing left on, on this particular sheet to, to do is these three arrows here. And then I'll just continue working. So even though I may not have videos up or something, this is the kind of stuff that takes quite a bit of time. And so when I'm on trips or something, I work on and then when we get to the cutting stage, you know, I'll show you a little bit more about what, how I do that. But, you know, the cabinet art and the playfield art is always continuing while I'm physically doing other things. So even though you may see other videos, this is always going on in the background because it, it just takes some time. So that's kind of an update on where we stand on the insert decals and, and hopefully we'll, we'll be making some progress. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just kind of wanted to give you an insight of how I do the graphics and the process for me getting these things ready to go. I'm hoping to get the playfield clear before too long. And by the time I do that, hopefully the insert uh, graphics will be ready and I can just continue to move forward. But please remember, if you like what you see, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.